Good morning ladies and gentlemen in this video we are going to cover the most important current affairs of fourth week of august the infographics used in our current affairs series are uploaded on a twitter account you can check the link from description box or from the pinned comment for hindi current affairs please subscribe to gk today hindi channel now let's start which country has launched rocket carrying life sized robot fedor to international space station right answer is Russia so Russia has launched a rocket carrying life size robot to international space station the name of this robot is fedor fedor stands for experimental demonstration object research who is the author of book big billion startup the untold flipkart story right answer is mr mihir dalal so the book big billion startup the untold flipkart story has been authored by mr mihir dalal on which date the world senior citizens day is celebrated right answer is 21st of august so world senior citizens day is celebrated every year on 21st of august to raise awareness about the issues that affect older people which indian professor has been conferred the pushkin medal 2019 right answer is meeta narayan so professor meeta narayan of jawaharlal nehru university has been conferred the prestigious pushkin medal for her contribution to the russian studies abroad the telangana government has signed pact with which tech company for digital telangana right answer is google so recently telangana government has signed a memorandum of understanding with google india for digital telangana the memorandum of understanding will improve and get more local language content online using google's digital publishing tool navlek which company has recently bagged title sponsorship rights for indian cricket team for 5 years right answer is paytm so bcci has extended title sponsor rights to paytm the first ever international day for victims of acts of violence based on religion or belief is observed on which date right answer is 22nd of august so the first ever international day for victims of acts of violence based on religion or belief is observed on 22nd of august to honor the victims and survivors of heinous acts who often remain forgotten which union ministry has organized a sansadhan hackathon for divyangjan accessible toilets right answer is ministry of jal shakti so recently under swachh bharat mission the government has launched sansadhan hackathon for divyangjan accessible toilets the idea is to make toilets accessible for divyangjan people the initiative is organized by ministry of jal shakti along with department of empowerment of persons with disabilities in collaboration with atal innovation mission of niti aayog which state has ranked first in free medicine scheme implementation under national health mission right answer is rajasthan so recently rajasthan has ranked first in free medicine scheme implementation under national health mission if we talk about rajasthan which union ministry has recently declared ocean energy as green power right answer is ministry of new and renewable energy so recently ministry of new and renewable energy has approved a proposal to declare ocean energy as renewable source of energy this decision is expected to boost the use of ocean energy who is the translator of book the diary of manu gandhi right answer is dr tridip shohard recently union culture and tourism minister mr prahlad singh patel launched the diary of manu gandhi the book has been brought out by national archives of india in collaboration with oxford university press on the occasion of 150th anniversary of mahatma gandhi actually the book was originally written in gujarati language and it has been translated by dr tridip shohard who has taken charge as new prime minister of sudan right answer is mr abdullah hamdok so recently prominent economist mr abdullah hamdok has taken charge as the new prime minister of sudan presently sudan is facing economic crisis which country has been blacklisted by Asia Pacific Group of FATF for its failure to comply with terror funding standards right answer is Pakistan so recently 
Asia Pacific Group of Financial Action Task Force put Pakistan in enhanced expedited follow-up list for its failure to meet its standards. Under Digital India campaign, the Banjari village of which district of Madhya Pradesh has become an integral part of digital map of country? Right answer is Katni. So in Madhya Pradesh, the Banjari village of Katni district has become an integral part of digital map of country. Now this is the first state of Madhya Pradesh to be associated with Digital India program. Monali Jadav, who won the three medals at World Police Games, is from which state? Right answer is Maharashtra. So Miss Monali Jadav is from Maharashtra and recently she won three medals at World Police Games. These games held in China. She won these medals in archery. What is the reference year for recently released Composite Water Management Index 2.0? Right answer is 2017-18. So recently, Niti Aayog, in association with Ministry of Jal Sakti and Ministry of Rural Development, has launched Composite Water Management Index, and the reference year for this index is 2017-18. Which state has been ranked first in the recently released Composite Water Management Index? Right answer is Gujarat. So recently, Niti Aayog released Composite Water Management Index and as per this index, Gujarat is the top performing state. Gujarat is followed by Andhra Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh. The first ever World Youth Conference for Kindness has recently held in which city? Right answer is New Delhi. So the first ever World Youth Conference for Kindness has been inaugurated by President Mr. Ramnath Kovind in New Delhi. The event was organized by UNESCO Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Education for Peace and Sustainable Development. Amazon rainforests are located in which continent? Right answer is South America. So these are located in South America and recently Amazon rainforests were in use because of forest fire. Sabka Vishwas scheme which is in use is associated to which purpose? Right answer is to settle pending indirect tax disputes. Recently, Government of India notified Sabka Viswas Legacy Dispute Resolution Scheme to reduce the legacy of service tax and central excise cases in the post-GST implementation era. Which football team has won the 2019 Durand Cup tournament? Right answer is Gokulam Kerala. So recently, Gokulam Kerala won the 129th Durand Cup tournament by defeating Mohan Bagan. What is the theme of 45th G7 summit? Right answer is fighting inequality. So recently 45th summit of G7 held in France and the theme was fighting inequality. Komalika Bari is associated to which sports? Right answer is archery. So Miss Komalika Bari from Jharkhand has become recurve cadet world champion at the world archery youth championship held in Madrid in Spain. Who has become the first ever Indian to win World Badminton Championship gold? Right answer is Miss PV Sindhu. So in badminton, Miss PV Sindhu has become the first Indian to won gold medal at World Championship at Basel in Switzerland. Who is the head of CVC committee to examine bank frauds above 50 crore? Right answer is Mr. T M Basin. So recently, CVC, that is Central Vigilance Commission, has constituted advisory board for banking frauds to examine the bank fraud over 50 crore and to recommend action against such frauds. This ABBF, that is advisory board for banking frauds, is a four-member board and it is headed by former Vigilance Commissioner Mr. T M Basin. Dokdo Islands is the bone of contention between which countries? Right answer is South Korea and Japan. So it is located between South Korea and Japan and it is a bone of contention between these two countries. Recently it was in use as South Korea has conducted two day drill exercise. The annual exercise came just after the termination of military intelligence sharing pact between these two countries. The researchers at which IIT have developed lab grown meat? Right answer is IIT Guwahati. So recently, researchers at IIT Guwahati have developed lab-grown meat. Where is the headquarters of Tropical Forest Research Institute? Right answer is Jabalpur. 
So the Jabalpur based Tropical Forest Research Institute has launched a mobile phone application. The name of application is Insect Pest. It contains the details about insects and pests and how to ensure their management. Which state government has launched exclusive education TV channel Kalvi Tholai Katchi? Right answer is Tamil Nadu. So recently, Tamil Nadu government launched exclusive education TV channel Kalvi Tholai Katchi to benefit students of classes 1st to class 12th. This TV channel will provide educational content. Which country is the host of UNCCD's Conference of Parties? Right answer is India. So India is the host of Conference of Parties of UNCCD that is United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification. The conference will take place at India Mart and Expo Greater Noida area of New Delhi. Project SURE that is Sustainable Resolution is associated to which field? Right answer is Fashion. So the project SURE is a joint project of Clothing Manufacturers Association of India and United Nations and IMG Reliance. It has been inaugurated by Union Minister of Textiles Ms. Smriti Irani. National Centre for Avian Ecotoxicology has come up in which city? Right answer is Coimbatore. So recently, Union Minister of Environment, Forest and Climate Change Mr. Prakash Javdekar inaugurated National Centre for Avian Ecotoxicology in Coimbatore in Tamil Nadu. Who has been chosen for the Eminent Engineer Award for year 2019 by the Institution of Engineers India? Right answer is Mr. Prabhakar Singh. So Mr. Prabhakar Singh, the Director General of Central Public Works Department has been chosen for the Eminent Engineer Award for the year 2019. The researchers at which IIT has produced collagen from waste eel skin. Right answer is IIT Hyderabad. So recently, the researchers at IIT Hyderabad have derived collagen from discarded skin of eel. The fourth edition of Internet of Things India Congress 2019 held in which city? Right answer is Bengaluru. So this conference held in Bengaluru in Karnataka and the theme was mainstreaming the Internet of Things. The seventh community radio sammelan is scheduled to be held in which city? Right answer is Delhi. So the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting is organizing 7th Community Radio Sammelan at B.R. Ambedkar Bhavan in New Delhi and the theme of this event is Community Radio for SDGs. Kanchan Chaudhary Bhattacharya who passed away recently was the India's first woman DGP. She was from which state? Right answer is Punjab. So recently Ms. Kanchan Chaudhary Bhattacharya passed away. She was India's first women Director General of Police. She was from Punjab. Who is representing India at 2019 Indo-Pacific Chiefs of Defence Conference in Bangkok? Right answer is Mr. Birinder Singh Dhanoa. So Air Chief Marshal Mr. Birinder Singh Dhanoa is representing India at 2019 Indo-Pacific Chiefs of Defence Conference in Bangkok in Thailand. And the theme of this conference is Collaboration in a Free and Open Indo-Pacific. Which country has launched World's first floating nuclear reactor into Arctic despite warnings. Right answer is Russia. So recently Russia has launched world's first floating nuclear reactor across the Arctic. Shaheen is a joint military exercise between Pakistan and which country? Right answer is China. So Shaheen is a joint military exercise between Pakistan and China and it recently started in Chinese city of Holton which is closer to India's border near Ladakh. Who has become the India's first female flight commander? Right answer is Ms. Selja Dhami. So wing commander Ms. Selja Dhami became India's first female officer of Indian Air Force to become flight commander of a flying unit. Which e-commerce major has launched military veterans employment program in India? Right answer is Amazon. So recently Amazon India has launched military veterans employment program to create employment opportunities for military veterans and their spouses across the country. Which union ministry has launched National Digital Library of India? Right answer is Ministry of Human Resource Development. So recently MHRD under its national mission on education through ICT 
has launched National Digital Library of India. The objective of this project is to develop a framework of virtual repository of learning resources. Where is the headquarters of Indian Institute of Petroleum? Right answer is Dehradun. So in Dehradun, the Indian Institute of Petroleum has set up a plant which can turn plastic waste into diesel. The plant was recently inaugurated by Union Science and Technology Minister Dr. Harshvardhan. Mansi Joshi, who won gold at 2019 BWF Para Badminton World Championship, is from which city? Right answer is Rajkot. So recently, Indian Para Badminton player Miss Mansi Joshi from Rajkot has clinched her first gold in women's single category at BWF Para Badminton World Championship. Which Indian app clinched mobile app at 2019 US Technovation Challenge? Right answer is Matri. So this US Technovation Challenge is world's largest technology and entrepreneurship program for girls. Next question is which former footballer has won the 2019 UEFA President's Award? Right answer is Mr. Eric Cantona. So recently Mr. Eric Cantona the former Manchester United forward has been awarded the UEFA President's Award in Monaco. Sagun portal which is in use recently is associated to which field? Right answer is school education. So recently MHRD Minister Mr. Ramesh Nishank launched a school education portal Sagun. This portal links over 15 lakh schools across the country to provide all the information on school education. Which state government has decided to offer modern nursery education at Anganwadis? Right answer is Madhya Pradesh. So recently, Madhya Pradesh government has decided to offer modern nursery education at Anganwadis on the lines of private nursery schools. Peacock parasite spider, which is recently spotted in eastern Ghats, belongs to the genus. Right answer is Pocillothraea. So recently, for the first time, Researchers have cited a critically endangered species of tarantula peacock parasite spider. Beyond its known habitat in the eastern Ghats, the spider belongs to the genus Pocillotheria. Which country has launched the world's first facial biometric based ID for seafarers? Right answer is India. So recently, India became the first country in the world to issue a biometric seafarer identity document for its seafarers. Now it should be kept in mind that the full form of BSID can be directly asked in question. The 25th Senior Women's National Football Championship is being held in which state? Right answer is Arunachal Pradesh. So Arunachal Pradesh is the host of 25th Senior Women's National Football Championship. Which state has been ranked first at India Child Wellbeing Index? Right answer is Kerala. So recently, India Child Wellbeing Index was in news. It is a tool designed to measure and track children's well-being through three dimensions. First is health, second is positive relations, and third is protective context. The 12th India Security Summit was recently held in which city? Right answer is New Delhi. So recently, the 12th India Security Summit held in New Delhi and the theme was towards new national cyber security strategy. National Sports Day of India marks the birth anniversary of which sports legend? Right answer is Mr. Dhyan Chand. So National Sports Day is celebrated every year on 29th of August to mark the birth anniversary of legendary hockey player Major Dhyan Chand. Which state government has decided to launch a new initiative 10 Hapte, 10 Baje, 10 Minute, Har Raviwar, Dengu Parwar? Right answer is Delhi. So recently Delhi government announced a new initiative, 10 Hapte, 10 Baje, 10 Minute, Har Raviwar, Dengu Parwar. It is an anti-mosquito campaign against Dengu and Chikungunya. On which date the International Day Against Nuclear Test is observed? Right answer is 29th of August. So the International Day Against Nuclear Test is observed every year on 29th of August for increasing awareness about the effects of nuclear weapon test explosions. Who is the head of committee that suggested that RBI pay interim dividend to union government only under exceptional circumstances? Right answer is Mr. Vimal Jalan. So recently, Vimal Jalan committee was in news as 
it has suggested that RBI's economic capital framework must be periodically reviewed after five years. The committee also recommended that RBI pay interim dividend to government only under exceptional circumstances. And following the recommendation of this committee, RBI approved transfer of 1.76 trillion rupee to the government. Ilave Nil Valarivan is associated to which sports? Right answer is shooting. So in shooting, Miss Ilave Nil Valarivan from India claimed her first senior World Cup gold medal in women's 10 meter air rifle competition. This competition held in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. The Gorewada International Zoo is going to set up in which city? Right answer is Nagpur. So recently, to protect forest, the government of India has given approval to establish International Standard Zoo and Biopark on the forest land at Gorewada in Nagpur. Kandangi Sari, which has got GI tag, is associated to which state? Right answer is Tamil Nadu. So recently, two well-known products from Tamil Nadu, the Dindigul Lok and the Kandangi Sari has been given the GI tag by the Geographical Indications Registry in Chennai. The government e-marketplace has signed a pact with which organization to enable the growth of MSME, startups and women entrepreneurs? Right answer is SIDBI. So recently, the government e-marketplace has signed a memorandum of understanding with SIDBI to benefit MSME, women entrepreneurs and self-help groups. The Union Health Ministry has signed a pact with which institute to explore artificial intelligence for combating tuberculosis? Right answer is Vadwani Institute for Artificial Intelligence. So recently, Central TB Division of Health Ministry has signed a pact with Vadwani Institute for Artificial Intelligence to explore artificial intelligence for combating tuberculosis. The Malayala Manorma New Conclave 2019 was held in which city of Kerala? Right answer is Kochi. So recently, the 2019 edition of Malayala Manorma New Conclave held in Kochi. It is Kerala's first and only news conclave that deals with most contemporary and compelling themes. The conclave was inaugurated by Prime Minister Mr. Modi via video conference from New Delhi. The International Coalition for Disaster Resilient Infrastructure is being set up in which city? Right answer is New Delhi. So recently, Union Cabinet has given approval for establishment of an international coalition for disaster resilient infrastructure along with its supporting secretariat office in New Delhi. S. Ashutha Narayana, who won the gold in water technology at 2019 World Skills Kazan International Competition, is from which state? Right answer is Odisha. So Mr. S. Ashwatha Narayana from Odisha became the first Indian to win gold at World Skills Competition 2019. This competition held in Kazan city of Russia. The term animal spirits, which is in news recently, is associated to which field? Right answer is economics. So recently, in its annual report for 2018-19, RBI has stated that lack of domestic demand is holding back the animal spirits in economy. Which union ministry has launched campaign Angikar for change management? Right answer is Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. So recently, Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs has launched a campaign for change management Angikar for social behavior change. Who has become the first Indian woman para-athlete to be conferred Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratan Award? Right answer is Ms. Deepa Malik. So recently, on the occasion of National Sports Day, Mr. Bajrang Punia and Ms. Deepa Malik were conferred Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratan Award. So these were the most important current affairs of fourth week of August. If you appreciate our efforts, please share this video. Thank you and that's all for the day.